Okay, so I have a Sears tractor. Well, no, that's actually a Roper tractor, and it's the same thing. A Roper? Roper? Roper. Oh. R-O-P-E-R. I've seen that name, yeah. And the hood was fucked up and junk, and this other Sears came along, it's identical. The grill is different, but it's the same, same thing. The hood was the same dimension. It does look the same. It didn't come with that seat, though, did it? No. Huh. Or that tank, for that matter. No. Or that exhaust, now that I see that. No. <laughs> That's no. pretty cool. So what's this rigging you got going on? Is that a motorcycle transmission? No, it's kind of, it's a little uh, lawnmower transmission. Though. That's a lawnmower transition? That's transmission. just a reverser. Forward and reverse. Wow. Huh. So, and that runs a series of shafts and gears and chains. I had to get my uh, belts at the pivot point so yeah. that when it goes up and down, it doesn't change the relationship with the pulleys. Right. Oh, so that's all down here. Yeah. Oh, I see. And yeah. then uh, it drives the forward and reverse box. Yeah. And this drives the snowblower uh, helical gear reducer that drove the wheels. Okay. Wow. And I put a okay. Chevy timing chain to this gear here. There's a, uh, I used a Ford starter, uh, Ford uh, starter drive. <laughs> Ford starter? Yeah. Wow. So, see, uh, when you got these locked and you put it in reverse, you're crunching everything. Right. So it just uh, ratchets in reverse. Ah. Uh. So you won't bend everything up. Oh yeah. And then the, that's international timing gears to the, uh, I think it's a Dodge Ram four-speed transmission. I put the drums right on the gears. The, uh, that's a and that's the synchronizers. And the, oh my God! No kidding. Like literally. Yeah. A Ford trans, a Dodge transmission. Yeah. As your shift forks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, do that again. Actual shift fork, huh? Yeah. Do you have a set over here as well? That different rod. Yeah. Oh, look at that. That picks it up, and that's a work line. That, this extends it. This comes out like a ladder. Yeah. It's another work line. Wow. <laughs> Jesus. So that... that you have four speeds to speed these work lines. What do the work lines do? Well, it's just two lines that come out so you can pick something up like that. Oh, so basically the whole thing is a, it's a, well, a crane. Yeah. But to work this, there's a, uh, well, this piece, this piece with the pulley on it, yeah. sticking in here, and your work line comes out and goes up to this. Okay, you and then it, down. Pull it through and come up around here to this pulley here, and it moves the jib up and down. Oh. So you only got one work line, and you can, you, it goes out to the end of the jib on, on the pulley. Wow. And on the end of this. Pull the end of that up here. Yeah. Well, that's a pretty amazing machine, man. Is that just to keep busy this winter or what? Yeah. Yeah? I keep freeing my ass off. Nothing else to do, eh? Well, I had a little work. And yeah. I didn't want to start any big projects for myself. Yeah. You know, in case something, somebody came along and wanted to buy the place. And then you move into Arizona. Damn right. You say you found a place? No. No, there's a lot out there, cheap too. Yeah, cheap too. I just didn't want to start on something big of my own and be right in the middle of it and then yeah. luck out and somebody bought the place. Right. So I just tinkered with that. Sweet. An amazing machine. Around. Amazing machine. The square tubing, the, all the lawnmower parts. Yeah. This is a uh, 
friction disc in there. It's an over center clutch, see? Huh. So nothing turns until you... Oh, so that's how you disengage. Yeah. So that's how you disengage the PTO, if you will. Yeah, PTO. All right, okay. Yeah. Ha, ha. <laughs> you make the arm and everything and the le lever with the bearing. Wow. <laughs> that's cool. I came up... Uh, Actually, we did that again. Check out how the, the bearing rides up the arm and pushes the clutch in and out. Wow. <laughs> well done. Well that's done. A, uh, that frame and the shaft's off of David Bradley. That's, that's a implement. tractor, right? Yeah. An Some implement? Kind of an implement. Like a farm hay machine or something? I think we're just a small machine, like on a garden tractor. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What's well, amazing, the little little bits of machinery that are on just common stuff that you can obviously do other things with. Yeah, I mean, yeah, well, there you go. Uh -huh. Cool. Huh. Well, an amazing machine. I had to cut out the notches and the... Ratchet mechanism. Oh, for locks. Yeah, and that that holds it when you let it down. That locks it when you. Uh, <laughs> Jesus, the detail is unbelievable. You know, just use started rods and weld. Oh look, yeah, they all they all have welded the plates. To what the do you nuts. call them? All the ratcheting mechanism. Yeah. Now, are these going to stay just little rods, or are they going to go off to controls? What's that? These all just going to stay little rods that you have to hand actuate? Yeah. Yeah? Well, depending on how crazy I want to get, I could make it... Oh, a set of cables. Each one would have a cable that pulled, Yeah. and every cable went down to a little control panel with four or five different... Yeah. There you go. <laughs> yeah. You pick up your shift levers to work them from there, and... Anything wow. you wanted to do with wow. the imagination. Look at the detail work. <laughs> wow. That's the same thing. It's with the shaft with nuts. And you formed all that metal and welded it. Mm-hmm. Cool. Well, man, this is very, very cool. <laughs> Thank you, sir. You're welcome. <laughs>